out, as you mentioned, wildfires, water restrictions, three things we may see a lot more of in the coming months. The latest LCRA numbers show creeks and streams are just not feeding the Colorado Basin. That's causing the big lakes to suffer. In fact, KXAN's David Scott reports now that we're approaching the worst drought conditions that once parched Texas more than a half a century ago. He's live in Shoal Creek. Leslie, the sad little dribble that is Shoal Creek and all the other creeks, streams, rivers, and tributaries are letting down the Highland Lakes. The skies are letting down the Highland Lakes. Lakes Buchanan and Travis continue to feel the effects. There's no relief in sight, and this water shortage is going to affect us all. Tributary flow into the big lakes is only at 6% of what it normally is, worse even than the great Texas record drought of 1952. Buchanan and Travis are at 70% of storage capacity and dropping. What is startling is now to go into the spring months of April and May, where we typically see our wetter periods, and to see those inflows continue to decline at very low levels. We use two-thirds of our water outdoors. Watering restrictions are now in place. One day a week in San Marcos, two in Austin. Water early, water late, and be smart. It's more efficient to use the hose because you don't really need to water everything at that same time. You may just have that one particular area. So you can just take your water hose and give it a good few minutes of watering, and it'll just take care of that one localized area. It's the spring planting season, but at places like the Barton Springs Nursery, customers are being careful about what they purchase. They know water's at a premium, and fragile plants will die. The nursery's plant buyer has to adapt. We're getting a lot more people looking for native plants, drought-tolerant plants, um, and really just adapted plants. Uh, we do sell a lot of plants that may not be native to this area, but are adapted to the conditions that do well. Um, that don't need a lot of water. Exactly. Among the careful shoppers, Dayton Pale. He remembers the record drought of 52. He dreads it happening again. How is this comparing? Well, it's getting to the point, I don't think it's as bad yet, but I remember living on the farm that the, the fields were bare. I mean, there was nothing there, you know. Yeah. And if this continues very long, I'm sure it'll be the same way. Now, if there's any hope for relief, it is the La Nina cycle out in the Pacific. We are expecting more storms in Texas than usual this year, and that is what we need. We need a gentle, non-destructive hurricane and some tropical storms that just park over us for a week at a time. Along Shoal Creek, David Scott, KXAN, Austin News. That would be nice to see. David, thanks for that live report.